less an attention now to health matters. Each year, what Tuberculosis Day is commemorated on the 24th of March to raise public awareness about the devastating health, social and economic consequences of the disease to help step up efforts to end the global pandemic. The date marks the day in 1882 when Dr. Robert Koch, Koch announced that he had discovered the bacterium that causes TB. This paved the way for diagnosing and curing this disease. TB remains one of the world's deadliest infections, infectious killers. Each day, over 4,100 4, people lose their lives to TB, and close to 28,000 people fall ill with a preventable and curable disease. The 2022 theme of What TB Day is Invest to End TB, Save Lives. It conveys the urgent need to invest resources to ramp up the fight against the disease. I am now being virtually joined by, from Lagos to discuss this global pandemic and possibly in, uh, solutions for curbing the spread by health practitioner Dr. Obitui Hamid. Good to have you join us. Um, Dr. Hamid, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, um, I mean, if you listen to our, our introduction, it states here that over 4,100 people lose their lives to TB and every day. And then um, we also see that 28,000 people fall ill with a preventable and curable disease. That's, that's a lot. And I, I'm wondering, people, because for, for most of us, what we know about uh, TB is the fact that it, people are coughing. What more can you tell us about TB um, in terms of the causes and, and then prevention? Okay. Thank you very much for the briefing. Actually, according to WHO, that's the number one uh, um, World Health Organization, that's the number one health organization in the world, said that um, TB actually, tuberculosis, is a multi-systemic disease with predilection to the respiratory tract and is the number 13th cause of death worldwide. That is a leading cause of death And in fact, one third of the world population actually is living with TB. That's uh, a third, for every three humans, one of them live with tuberculosis. So the disease actually is gotten from a bacteria, that is a bacterium rather, that is mycobacterium tuberculosis, an acid fast bacillus, which enters the respiratory tract, multiplies the, destroys the respiratory epithelium, that is the lining in the, in the respiratory tract and then goes into other system of the body. Actually, there are certain risk factors for contact, for, for transmission of tuberculosis. The major risk factors include overcrowding. That's when you have a lot of people living in an enclosed space. Malnutrition, usually under nutrition, forms which include tuberculosis, and which include quashioko or marasmus. Then you have other infections like HIV, then other debilitating diseases, including diabetes mellitus, lesions, and pertussis, are actually risk factors for tuberculosis. So tuberculosis is gotten, the respiratory form of tuberculosis is actually gotten from inhaled droplets from people that live with TB. When a person coughs in an enclosed space, the bacillus, that is the bacteria, leaves the um, respiratory lining and enters the mouth and then it goes into the atmosphere in droplets. So other people who are not TB positive, that's those mm. people who are exposed to these droplets, inhale the droplets and then um, the incubation period starts immediately while it multiplies in the respiratory tract. After it has been this um it has been this entry right. to the respiratory tract, the bacillus is able to Leave the respiratory tract through, through the bloodstream to other systems, mm. including the reticular right, system, the genital system, and all other systems of the body. So uh, the um, transmission of tuberculosis actually is, is quite um, is quite basic than we think it is. Uh, absolutely, uh, and and hearing this now, um, it, it, it is contagious. So, and the funny thing is that a lot of people don't even know that they're living with 
uh, people who have tuberculosis, tuberculosis rather. Uh, but talk to us about, because I want to go with the, th the theme for the year. Uh, it is invest to end TB, save lives. Um, if, we were to inv if we were to save lives, especially in a place like Nigeria, what area should we invest in um, to ensure that people have access to treatments and people, people also know that, look, they, they have TB? And um, what era should we be investing it? Investing in? Okay. Um, the um, health sector is actually um, doing a lot to ensure to ensure curbing the infectious disease. But we still have a long way to go. Because as I've said, the disease actually as I've said earlier, that one in three people are, is living with the disease. But so it is of key note. To, to say that um, the disease actually is a vaccine preventable disease. Yes, as you said earlier in your introductory, um, introductory talk, the, the uh, vaccine was discovered in 18th century by Robert Koch. So, um, and the vaccine is actually given at bed. The vaccine that is given at bed, once given, once given at shot, the person com it confers a lifelong immunity to to the individual. So, number one thing about um, TB is actually that one should get the vaccine. That's number one thing. Then, other secondary um, prevention for tuberculosis includes um, good nutrition. Ensure that you are eating uh, eating healthy. Ensure that you are fine. Ensure that mm. you are not living in uh, an enclosed space. And individuals, especially adults that have the disease, the active form of the disease, to ensure that they go to government hospitals or accredited private hospitals to get treated effectively. All right. The treatment form, yeah, the treatment, treatment form actually is a dietary observed treatment shortcut, which um, has actually been put in place by the uh, Department of Community Medicine to ensure that individuals which the disease actually get treated effectively and then they don't spread the disease to other individuals. All right, thank you so much for talking to us. Health practitioner, Dr. Obituyi Hamid.